Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays AI The Somnium Files. Today we're in the interrogation room with uh, number 89 and we're trying to figure out exactly what the hell's going on with the Cyclops killer. Also, boss is missing? Maybe? I don't know. Peter said they haven't seen her in a while, so... Yeah, alright. So, let's see. Pipe? Nothing? That's very disappointing. I know castle characters that would be very, very upset that you're not into the pipes. Uh, table. Alright, so. Number 89. What's your name? Number 89. Okay, that's not true. Your real name. I don't remember. Really? Okay, do you know Shoko? Yeah, I guess I do. About a month ago, Shoko visited Fuchu Prison. Was she there to see you? That's right. What did you talk about? Nothing special. You're in no position to lie. I'm not lying. She didn't come to hear me talk. Okay. And why did she come? To meet me. That's it? Meet you. She probably just wanted to see me. Can they do that? Can people just do that? Can be like, hey, I'm visiting this like high security prison. I would like to meet this serial killer. Is that cool? And they would just give you the thumbs up for that? Even highly influential rich people have a hard time doing that. At least without it becoming publicly known real fast. Uh, you're the original Cyclops killer, aren't you? That's right. I was one of the culprits behind the case six years ago. One of the two Cyclops killers. Cool. Uh, where are you from? Burkina Faso. Excuse me, can we go back there for a second? Burkina Faso. One of the two Cyclops killers. Burkina Faso. There's some audio corruption there. Burkina Faso. One of the two Cyclops killers. I was one of the culprits behind the case six years ago. Burkina Faso. Yeah. It's like compression's wrong there at some point. Burkina Faso. You can hear it in the middle of it. Burkina Faso is a republic in West Africa. Population 17 million. Okay. I don't have time for your jokes. Why do you think he's joking? Why is he joking? I mean, might be joking. You're supposed to be Japanese, I'm assuming, right? It wouldn't be like... I mean, I guess it probably would be extremely rare, but maybe not, like, unheard of. A long time ago. I don't remember exactly when. What's your relationship to her? A physical one. Okay. I'm kidding. She was just a business partner. That could still be physical. Don't don't rub your stomach like that, Shoko, when he says that. Oh, God, you're not going to be like Mizuki's real father, right? All right. Let's get right down to it. Two days ago, you called Investigation HQ and said, I know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. I can't help it. I cast haste. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Why the fuck would I ever do that? It's done. You've got a deal. Yeah, it's not happening. All right. But to explain it properly, I need to tell you a story. I mean, you know we can just renege on that deal, right? You, ha you don't have it in writing. I mean, if you're that stupid, and, uh, you're probably not gonna tell me the truth, but okay, here we go. take some time. Is that all right with you? I've got nothing but time. Then let's get started. Sure. The story of a lonely assassin. Oh, God. Once upon a time, there was a detective full of righteous justice. Let's call him F. Hi, F. F found the evil F in the, the world intolerable. F had no parents, no siblings, and grew up in an orphanage since he was born. Quaint. He suffered every kind of abuse imaginable there. Less quaint. It led him to despise all the evils of the world. One day, 
F was chasing a thug down at the harbor. Someone wanted for the assault and murder of women. Okay, I get it. I'll just throw down my knife. Here. Now shoot him! You lower your gun. It's fine. I got nothing else on me. I'll go quietly. You know, I have a history with hospitals. I've been going to a special hospital for a while. Even if I get caught, it's all good. I'll come right back out again. Shoot him! What should I do next time? Just thinking about it gets me excited. Okay, shoot him in the nuts first. Thank you. Maybe didn't have to unload the clip into him. The culprit was unarmed. Eh, he took off his arms? Brutal. But F never served a day in prison. The case went to trial for some time, but it was determined to be self-defense, and he was declared innocent. If the truth got out, it would be a huge scandal for the police. People at the upper level were terrified of what might happen, so they had evidence fabricated. I'm not gonna lie, probably the least, <laughs> probably the least impactful scandal the police have had in recent times, to be quite honest. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's still probably be pretty bad, right? But at the same time, pretty, pretty sure compared to some of the other stuff in recent history, probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't make the waves. F wasn't suspended or disciplined at all. After a while, he returned to his job like nothing happened. That was a turning point for him. He was ready to shed the morality that was weighing him down, holding him back. See, if this was like a Batman origin story where, where F here uh, was like, okay, I'm just gonna go around and kill like rapists and murderers and shit like that, dude, high five. But you like kind of turned into like, well, I don't know like exactly what they meant by assault. I'm only assuming the worst. But at the same time, you went around and assaulted women and ripped out their eyes. That's kind of fucked up, dog. And by kind of, I mean extremely fucked up. F still wanted justice. And he was willing to dispense it to the immoral one by one. Is this story not about you? Because pretty sure we've seen four cases of women begging for their lives where you crushed one of their heads with a stone, stabbed them repeatedly in like the neck area or heart, shot one point blank in the face. I don't know about the other one. Is it strangled? Was it strangled? It was strangled. Are you saying those women were were evil? He became an assassin. That's not That's not how you dispose of immoral ones unless you only take contracts out on bad people. A lone gunman. No agent, no employer. That sounds like a horrible business proposition, dog. Also, I don't think you can just be called an assassin then if you're just going around on your own killing. An assassin is someone hired to kill people. He was his own man. So you were just a serial killer? F believed well, obviously. he was judge, jury, and executioner. Cut to me screaming I am the law a few times in this let's play? But it didn't last long. One day, F got rid of a criminal we'll call X. Hmm, that used to be my nickname for like a lot of games and stuff like X that. X was responsible for defrauding and killing an innocent old man for his life insurance policy. That's Fox. Turns out, X had connections. Someone wasn't happy that he died. Rohan Kumakura, chairman of the Kumakuras. Wouldn't you go to the head of a criminal organization first to kill them? I like the sad music here. But if you're gonna be a vigilante going after criminals and shit like that, yeah, sure, you start small. You gotta work on the costume a little bit. But at the same time, wouldn't you want to take out, like, the head of an organization that does criminal shit? X was a top executive of the Kumakuras at the time. Why didn't you just take out the lead of the Kumakuras? Rohan ordered his men to find and kidnap F. I've done some research. I know you've cleaned up at least 18 pieces of scum from this earth. I say? Didn't think his voice would sound like this. But somehow there hasn't been a single criminal investigation. They're all treated as suicides, accidents, or natural causes. <laughs> well, he did naturally die of 18 bullets to the brain. Amazing work. 
I'm impressed. How about you work for us? Of course, you have the right to say no, but it'll be the last word out of your mouth. F was trapped. Say yes and then shoot them! Even if he somehow survived, he would be looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. I mean, that kind of comes with the whole being an assassin type deal, dog. He had no choice but to take Rohan's offer. Okay. Thus, F's self-employment came to an end. I don't get why you just wouldn't turn around and kill them at the earliest convenience. He became a hired gun of the Kumakuras. Rohan even gave him a code name. Falco. Falco? Falco Gunshot! Named for the Falcon. Really? To pray. Okay. Falco didn't quit his job as a police officer, though. Uh, I thought he quit his job as a police officer when he started going around killing people. He worked as a detective by day, assassin by night, at the will of the organization. An ordinary killer would need motive to take a life, but not Falco. He did as he was told, one target after another. Oh, uh, well, okay. I guess he just liked killing then, aka you. You should really get a silencer or it something, didn't dog. It did take long to destroy his heart completely. Time passed, and a few years back, Falco, who by this time was exhausted in body and spirit, made a fatal mistake. He missed his mark and ended up taking a bullet to the stomach. Somehow, he managed to escape. After reaching a nearby shrine, his legs finally gave out under him. He had no strength left. He put his back up against the shrine and let out a moaning breath that he thought might be his last. But at that moment... Did Santa show up? In his darkening vision, he saw a woman... Oh approaching. no! Are you Iris's dead? Oh, God damn it. Yo, yo, she's dead, dog. He watched her take out her phone and dial for help. At the same time, he heard footsteps. Footsteps of at least two people closing in. He knew immediately that they were after him. He sprung into action, grabbing the woman and pulling her close, kissing her to keep her from talking. Oh, my God, you're going to be Iris's dad. That was the first encounter between Falco and the woman. Can we call her Walco? She was a teacher at some school. Yeah, I bet. It was like she was from a totally different world than him. Because she was. Listening to her talk, he would forget everything about his line of work. So she was okay with a bleeding man just suddenly kissing her? She was his only contact with the ordinary, mundane world. They met in secret a few more times. Oh, and yes, she... Falco felt his heart grow warmer. Oh, right. That's right. We saw that vision where, like, you were killing a Tomy, right? Oh, shit. I mean, you're not going to kill a Tomy after you get... We're not going to let him out, right? We're not that stupid, he says as he knocks over stuff on his desk. Her smile and kindness were like a cold glass of water for Falco's parched heart. Falco's parched! Falco started to become himself again. His former self. He swore on his life that from then on, he would live for her. So, you want to go clean? Just why you shoot him, dog. Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? 
Rohan handed Falco a picture of a woman and a girl. It was the teacher Falco met at the shrine. Oh wait, are you not Iris's dad then? And her daughter. She had just turned 12. Okay, so they're clearly not, I guess. Why the two of them? Rohan, as usual, never gave a reason. And Falco had no intention of carrying out the kill. Yeah, that's why you just take your gun out and shoot him in the head now. But if he didn't, he knew that someone else would. That's why you take out your gun and shoot him now. He thought long and hard. How is he going to keep them safe and get out of the life of crime? He couldn't find an answer, no matter how hard he thought. He was backed into a corner. So, he decided to call on an old friend for help. And then... That was... Oh, that was roughly six years ago, right? Silence. And then silence? For some reason, he wouldn't open his mouth again. Pewter, can I talk to you? Oh, camera. Pipe? Camera. All right. Um, mentioned the detective? You mentioned a detective. Why'd you stop? Why did you stop? Was that the whole story? Was that the whole story? Yeah, but like, Shoko? What's the connection between that and Shoko? Uh, answer me! Hey, answer me. This is a transaction, remember? Until I get a guarantee that you'll uphold your end of the bargain, I'm not telling you anything. Okay, dog, else. even if I guarantee you, I can still just, like, take it back. I'll give you half up front, half later. <laughs> if you want to hear the rest of my story, you better start the release procedures. Or we just start ripping out your fingernails one by one. Once they've cleared, I'll tell you everything. Or you put, like, little uh, toothpicks in between the fingernails and just, like, jam your hand. Chrono, sorry, sorry. Date. It is unlikely that number 89 will uphold his promise, even- Pewter. Honorable release, yeah, Pewter. Yes. Start the preparations. Oh, we're sinking! For what? What do you think? <laughs> the sink. Okay. You should really have him tied up, just in case. Can you up it? Up you sure? Are you ready, Agent Date? Yeah. The time limit is six minutes. I know. Then let's begin. All right. I'm a little worried about boss, but I might have actually might already be dead. <laughs> we just haven't seen her for a while, and the fact that they called out the fact that she hasn't—they don't know where she is. She's gonna be dead, isn't she? All right, let's see how messed up this is going to be. Because Iris is just, like, super dark. Um, we're going to a mind of an sup. assassin. Sup. No, not sup. Why are you sleeping on the job? Because I want to, obviously. Are you Mizuki now? Why are you getting mad at me? Yeah, this rug feels so good on my skin, yeah? You don't have skin. Look at your hands. Why are you suddenly a cat? Playtime's over. Okay. Let's begin. Sure. Stand up. Is this the Sagan residence? I believe it is. It definitely is. But why? Number 89. What were you up to? Why is that smoking green over there? Uh, this is a plant from the first dream, right? That's interesting. Hello? What? The green? I do not think I can pass through it. Really wants to hide it, huh? Okay, new plan. We are VR, yeah. Activate. Is that part of your dress or are those symbols on your leg? What's with the slime? Phone? Iba? What? 
Okay, sure. Don't close the door! This appears to correspond to the green thing. Number 89 is hiding in the past. 89 is covered in green membrane, membrane, in a green membrane. What? And I can't get close. Uh. Ooh, Iris. A switch. That is not what I was looking at. Uh, but clearly, no. Iris? A winter iris that blooms in the cold. I know, I know. Well, clearly we need to pick it. <laughs> Ernia? You can do it. I believe in you. I don't. Stop it! You're distracting me! I got one! The hell did you pull out? Aw, right after I pulled it out, too. Your tongue is freaking me out! Did the green stuff react at all? Oh, we got a phone call. A phone? Should I pick it up? Is it about a car warranty? It's probably about a car, call war like car warranty. Uh, yeah, sure. Hang up. No, pick it up. What the? Wait, what? <laughs> For some reason, I thought it said I thought it said pick up, but then when I selected, it, I was like, hang up. Wait a minute, that's not right. There was only two options there, right? Hang up and ignore. Oh, that was bad? Well, clearly we need to ignore it then. I mean, usually when you ignore a call, you don't just stare at it. Maybe try answering it. It stopped. What was that? I don't know. There goes the green. That's supposed to be wine. I oh. guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that worked. Um, book liquid. Check out the book first. A book. Clearly, we need to read it. I don't like it when it says question mark for the timies. F does not have parents or siblings. He was raised in an orphanage. F for Falco? That was it? Liquid! There is some kind of liquid pooled on the floor. <sighs> I mean, clearly you have to lick it. Just don't make a mess. I do not intend to. No, why? Okay. I thought you were actually going to get on all fours and start licking it off the ground, but like swiping it with your finger and tasting it is still pretty bad. This is. wine? I, I had better drink some more to be sure. Stop it. Uh, okay. Agent, you've got four minutes. Um. Kind of well, clearly. Jump? Jump. In, you say. Yeah! Jump in, Iba! You do not have to shout. Huh. I was actually expecting you to fall through it. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I listen to you. Because I'm the main character? Alright, well, I guess that's not anything. How about we rip up this book then? Uh, sure. Good job. Are you sure this will help us uncover number 89's secrets? No. It might. We're getting closer. Are we? Are we getting closer? Do you want me to do something else with the wine? I'm assuming the switch can't do anything until the vines are gone. I mean, yes. there, there was an option to remove vines, but didn't we have to, like, kick a skeleton in the other dream for that? A stick hand in, I guess. Oh, okay. It is surprisingly deep. That's what he said? Did you find anything? Well... Oh! There is 
something. What is it? A cork. I don't like this sound. Ah, uh, my wine. That was wine? It looks like sludge. My wine tastes like sludge. That's horrible wine. So you agree it's sludge? Why would you, wait, when have you ever tasted wine in general? Your eye doesn't, like when you're in the real world, you don't even have a mouth. Do not, what do you mean bad? It's raining again. Do not put what I do? the eyeball in wine and then put it back in the eye socket. You, you pick it up. All right. Who is this? What the? So I have to ignore it, I guess. Uh, I... <clears throat> Another bad one. Oh, fuck off. I get... Well, no, I don't. Not anymore. I have one minute. Riveting. <laughs> yep. Yeah, looks like he's gonna just keep getting closer and closer to her eye, isn't it? So next time we should probably just ignore it, Are yeah? You curious who was calling? I am curious, but what if they threaten me for money? You're a police officer. Have some backbone. Yeah. We're totally going to have to redo this, by the way. Because we still have two more locks. And like one minute left. I suppose we didn't do anything wrong. Well, at least you didn't faint. Again. All right. So uh, two books. Ceiling fan? fan? It's a ceiling fan. Is that like a giant desk fan what a desk fan only moves the air immediately around it whereas a ceiling fan circulates air in an entire room oh right yeah i mean you know, okay headbutt good job Ow. no good huh i mean it was pretty funny it's a ceiling um oh yeah hold on <laughs> she looks like she's having fun. Just get a game over. I mean, sorry, but that was just too dumb for you to proceed with this game. Um, Dante, thirty seconds. That's true. Hot. We're probably gonna have to examine the pot. All right, one more time with the fan. Uh, let's do blow on. Blow on it. Ah. God, it's going backwards. It's gonna take your air out of your lungs. Oh. Wait, that did something? Oh. It moved the lock a little bit. Okay. I can't select the fan anymore. Okay, 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 okay. Hi. How's this good? What is it's this? It's hot. Yes. Steam is rising from it. It's very green. It appears to be some kind of green curry. I'm not sure if that's actually a thing, but okay. Soybean stew? Ew. It might also be boiled green juice. Why? Yeah, like a slime. A turtle ninja could leap out at any moment. Well, yeah, clearly wear. What? I told you to wear it. Wear it? All right, here I... What a waste of soup. Good job, Iba. Are you okay? I am fine, actually. In fact, I feel as though my defense has risen. By at least two points, probably. I'm a little worried about your head. Shouldn't be. She's wearing protection. Why? My head is thoroughly protected. Exactly. Uh, all right, cool. Date, you're out of time. Yeah, well, you ain't my dad, so I don't have to listen to you, Peter. 
Uh, yeah, clearly you want to, uh, I don't know why I'm using a Tommy. Tear it up again! I wonder what these books symbolize. I don't know. Just childhood Maybe memories were just destroying. Library. Number 89, a librarian. Maybe. All right, so that did something? Doctor, okay. There's no time. Shit, this isn't good. Oh, we'll just retry it. I mean, we're gonna retry it like next time, but at the same time, we'll just retry it. It's fine. It's totally fine. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.